Hello, good evening. You're welcome again to Online Healing Crusade. We're so glad to have you. Hallelujah. It's another time in the presence of the Lord. Wow, you may be thinking, what is happening? Well, you are just in a crusade. God ordered your steps to log in to this. And uh, this is Online Healing Crusade. And it takes place like this every time. 6 p.m. GMT plus one. So tomorrow you are invited. You still be here. Do you have anybody that have any sickness or whatever? You can bring the person have a stubborn person or somebody that has not given his or her life to jesus you as a christian you can invite the person to come on i believe the word of the lord will come for somebody and they'll be saved be healed be delivered you know total salvation in the name of jesus hallelujah the servant of the lord is reverend Leo Lufen, Yugundari. god called him and anointed him to preach the gospel hallelujah i'm so sure of that i know that god anointed him to preach the total gospel the gospel of liberation the gospel when you hear the gospel you are not born again you get born again you get healed you get baptized in the holy ghost and that's what god has been doing the on ground crusades that god has been sending him you know we've been going from one place there just finished the uh, seven days who say that Iju, you know on this state nigeria and god touched people we we're still there last week a few days ago with the pastors just to say thank you people have started having testimonies you know to the calling and i mean this is god and so god sent him to go online to take this crusade online so that crusade can come to you where you are you don't play with it, you don't joke with it when god has instituted something and you know a uh, commission a pastor his servant to come to you to speak the word just the lord and receive the word hallelujah and just position yourself the power of the lord is ready to do something great in your life hallelujah join me tonight without wasting time <laughs> to welcome the servants of the lord the evangelist louis unifem yugundari just stay connected and you see the glory of the lord hallelujah god bless you Praise the Lord. Our Father, we thank you for another opportunity to minister the word of life unto your people today. In the name of Jesus, we ask that the Spirit of the Almighty God will come upon this word, breathe the breath of life on it, and take us away from just the letter of the word into the Spirit. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. <clears throat> uh, I just want to read from Ezekiel chapter 47. And then uh, after I read, I'm going to minister from this place today. Uh, <clears throat> let me start from verse 1. I'll rush through to where I, where I want to stop. And then we'll begin. After, afterward, he brought me again unto the door of the house. And behold, what has issued out? What has issued out from under the threshold of the house? Eastward, for the forefront of the house. And stood towards the east, and the waters came down from under the right side of the house, at the south side of the altar. Then brought he me out of the way of the gate northwards, and led me about the way without, unto the altar gate by the way, that looked eastward. And behold, there ran out waters on the right side. And when the man that had the line in his hand went forth eastward, he measured a thousand cubits. And he brought me through the waters, and the waters were to the ankle. Again, he measured a thousand and brought me through the waters, and the water were to the knees. Again, he measured a thousand and brought me through to the waters, and the water were to the loins. Afterward, he measured a thousand, and it was a river that I could not pass over. For the waters were risen, waters to swim in, a river that could not be passed over. Verse 6. And he said unto me, Son of man, hast thou seen this? Then he brought me and caused me to return to the brink of the river. Now when I had returned, behold, at the bank of the river were very many trees on the one side and on the other side. Then said he unto me, These waters issue out towards the east country, and go down into the desert, and go into the sea, and which being brought forth into the sea, the waters shall be healed. And it shall come to pass that everything that liveth, which moveth, where, where, where that soever the river shall come, shall live. And there shall be a very great multitude of fish, because these waters shall come thither, for they shall be healed. And everything shall live where the river cometh. And it shall come to pass that the fishes 
shall stand upon it from Engendi, even unto England, and they shall be a place to spread forth nets. There fish shall be according to the kinds, to their kinds, as the fish of the great sea, exceedingly many. But the merry place thereof and the matches thereof shall not be healed, they shall be given to some. And by the river upon the bank thereof, on the side and on that side, on this side and on that side, shall grow all trees of meat, for meat, whose leaves shall not fade, neither shall the fruit thereof be consumed. It shall bring forth a new fruit according to its month, because their waters they issue out of the sanctuary, and the fruit thereof shall be for meat, and the leaf thereof for medicine. Praise God. Right, now that, that's the introductory uh, um, <clears throat> uh, passage that I want to read today. And there are some things I want you to notice. There is continuous graduation from one level to the other. When he measured a thousand cubits, the river was to the ankle. Ankle deep, that's just around the feet. At the time he mentioned a thousand cubits more, the river came to the knee, knee deep. By the time he measured another thousand, it got to the loins. That's the waist. And then, by the time he measured another thousand, it now became a river that your leg can't carry you in that liver, river. The thing was just going, and he has to swim. He cannot walk anymore. He has to release himself for the water to carry him. Okay, swimmable depth, unwalkable depth. Are you get what I'm saying? And then it became not that he will be the one controlling his movement, but it is the river that will be controlling his movement. It will be going the direction of the river. Okay, okay. Now that's part one, showing that the anointing of the Lord moves from level to level in his ministers. Are you guys what I'm saying? And not only that, it also tells us that ministry is in levels, calling is in levels. Depends on how far have you gone with God and to what level have you walked with God. Your distance of walking with the Lord uh, will bring some level of unction to function for God into your life that you may not experience that when you first start the journey. Are you hearing what I'm saying? That's why at times you see uh, things of God don't just happen suddenly. It might just rise up yesterday and by the next one week or one month, his church has risen to 50,000. Then there's a questionable thing there. There's something about God that is usually gradually. You cannot get to a place after you have been faithful for a number of years, it gives you an explosion. Boosh. But that is not going to be at the beginning. Because as you are coming in, you are testing the waters, you are coming in gradually, you are learning the way of the Spirit, you are learning the things of God, you don't just overnight become superstar. There's nobody that doesn't have history of where they are coming from. And God usually takes us from one degree of glory to another degree of glory. But the former degree, then the present degree, then the future degree. So you should be getting better. Than, uh, than it used to be before. Are you getting what I'm saying? Because you are moving deeper in the river of God. You are flying higher in the realm of the Spirit. So you are getting better in your manifestation and impact. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Okay. Uh, at the same time, there's another aspect I also want us to see. It says that, um, verse 8, Then said he unto me, This water is you out towards the east country, and go down into the desert, Okay, or to the area of the plain and go into the sea, which bring, which being brought forth into the sea, the waters shall be healed. So there is healing connected to that running water. The more the water is running, the deeper you are, the greater the depth you can get to in ministering healing and deliverance to people. Are you get what I'm saying? The more you move with God, the more you get into the realm of the things of the Spirit, the more greater things of God will begin to manifest in your life. Then the deeper the level you'll be able to touch in the things of God. I get what I'm saying. But healing virtue flows in levels. 
healing anointing flows in levels. Okay? The disciples have been sent forth to minister and they have come back to give testimony that, wow, even spirits are subject unto us when we mention your name, at your name. And Jesus Christ said, don't worry, even Satan fall down like lightning. But you see, the important thing is that your name is written in the book of life. But there came a time that um, Jesus Christ and three of his disciples went up to the mountain to pray and the others were building the valley. And then when he came back, he found out that they were trying to you know, minister to somebody and they couldn't do it. So he came and he did it. But later they now asked, sir, why couldn't we do that? We, you, you have taught us how to do this thing and we handled it the way we taught us and we are not getting results. What happened? He mentioned about two things. One, he said, because of unbelief, your level of faith, you have to increase the more you the faith, the more you what you can believe with God, the more what can manifest in you. And then he also mentioned the fact that this kind go out not except by prayer and fasting. So that means there are things expected for the ministers to do, and then there are things expected for the people who are who will need the healing to do. They need to come to God with faith, they need to come to God believing, they need to come to God knowing that the power and the anointing of the Almighty God is present in the generation to be able to minister to them. They need to believe what God is doing through the man of God they are coming to. Are you getting saying? They need to believe the word of God that is being preached because faith is going to come by the word. I get it. But on the side of the minister, there is need for the minister to keep getting deeper, getting stronger in his move with God so that his faith can keep on increasing and then his relationship, his fellowship with the Father. Because everything we are receiving, we are receiving from the Father God. So your relationship with God will determine how far you will be able to go with the things of God and how much he can trust you because gospel, uh, ministry of the gospel, you say trust. Uh, we are entrusted with the gospel. So it, it gets to a point that God can trust you with something. And when he can trust you with it, then you don't disappoint God. You keep moving at that rate. So there will be things that maybe five years ago you are not able to handle. But as you keep moving with God, in five years' time, you'll be able to do that. Although you couldn't do it before, now you can do it. Because the depth you have moved is no more ankle level. Maybe it's now knee level. Maybe it's now loins level. You understand what I'm saying? So it gets to a point that you have gone deeper and further with God. And you'll be able to do more and better things for God. You understand me? All right? So he said the rivers, as they keep flowing... Healing was coming out from it. Then verse 9, And it shall come to pass that everything that liveth, which moveth with that over the river shall come, shall live. That means there is life, not death, that is flowing from the throne of God. Life flows from that throne. All right? It gives life to the dead. And if there is anything dying, it will bring life unto it. It's able to quicken mortal body. It's able to bring different things to pass. Are you getting it? Okay? So again, uh, he said, And there shall be a very great multitude of fish, because the water shall come there, for they shall be healed, and everything shall live without the river coming. So there will be multitude of fish. That means, you know, we are fishers of men. The more we go into the things of God, the more we get deeper. The deeper we move with God, then the more the things of God can manifest in our life and in our ministry. Are you getting what I'm saying? They shall be healed. Healing will be happening. Salvation, that's fishes that have been, uh, we are fishers of men. So you'll be able to fish and get more people coming to the kingdom through the anointing because of the way you have moved deeper and further with God. Are you getting what I'm saying? And then everywhere they get to, things shall live there. And then people shall be healed there. And then multitudes shall come to God there. You get it? Because healing, miracles, signs, and wonder, they are introductory. They are like the advertisement for the kingdom. Uh, when you are involved in that, you see some of those things opening the door for you to be able to get more people to come for the, 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 the things of God. You understand me? And then if you are ministering and there is healing anointing, then more people who want to come because of the healing. They will now become people that are getting saved because they are getting healed, they are getting delivered, so they are also getting saved. Are you getting what I'm saying? All right? Uh, what one great miracle can do in a city, many sermons in church service cannot do it. Pastors have been existing in different parts of the town. They've been doing their normal work of pastoring the church and whosoever come to their church is getting blessed and all that. But the moment an evangelist enter town and anointing begin to flow, healing here, salvation there, deliverance there, Holy Ghost baptism there, fire, different things are happening. You now find out that it's like the darkness is receding. More light is coming upon the ground. Are you getting what I'm saying? And then more people are, that are getting healed every day, getting delivered and all that, this news will be spreading. And that new spread is the advertisement for the gospel that God is there. 
if God is not there, there's no way he can be healing people there like that. Are you getting what I'm saying? I said, when they now come and mass, then you now get more people to be saved within one week, within one month. In those days, those evangelists, they do crusade of one month, two months, three months, 90 days crusade. They have not stopped. Are you getting it? So it will, the thing will keep ringing every day. People are getting saved every day. People are getting healed every day. Miracles are happening every day. Before you know it, this news keeps spreading. So people can come from another town. People can come from far away and say, ah, if you get there, you see me there. I was still there last night. Ah, God is doing something there. So it shows that God is, is tabernacling there for that period. The tabernacle of God is with men for that period. You see more of the, people, of the power of God moving, and then you see more people come to the kingdom. That's what it means by multitude of fish. Great multitude of fish. Fish, they are talking about souls that are going to be one. But there is going to be healing. There is going to be life giving. Are you getting what I'm saying? Those are the things that are attracting people to the kingdom of God. And that's our job. Verse 12. And by the river, upon the bank thereof, on this side and on that side, shall grow all trees for meat or for food, whose leaves shall not fade. I pray that the grace of God and the anointing upon our life will never fade away in the name of Jesus. The leaf doesn't fade. The leaf of the anointing. The leaf, the tree of the anointing doesn't fade. He said the power, uh, uh, he said the gift and the calling of God is without repentance. It doesn't fail. It will never fail upon our life in Jesus' name. He shall grow the trees for me, whose leaves shall not fade, neither shall the fruit thereof be consumed. That is, it will not finish. It will not fail. It will not finish. It shall bring forth new fruit according to his month. Wow. New fruit every month. Okay. Are you hearing what I'm saying? He shall bring forth new fruit every month. New fruit every month. New fruit every month. Because there are waters they issued out of the sanctuary. And the fruit thereof shall be for meat, and the leaf thereof shall be for medicine, or for healing, or for health. Mm. Are you getting what I'm saying? So I see great things happening here. If fruits are on a tree, is one tree. These trees that are on one side, on one side of the of the of the road, it said, "It shall grow all trees for meat, whose leaves shall not fade, neither shall the fruit thereof be consumed. It shall bring forth a new fruit according to its month." So new fruits are coming out every month. New fruits every month. Each month, a fruit is being produced. Each month, something is coming out for healing. Something is coming out for, you know, uh, deliverance. Something is coming out for a new manifestation of the grace and power of God. Each month, a fruit. So if you have a tree that gives 12 different fruits, from the same tree. Is that not wonderful? And every month, something new is coming out. And each of the time that those new things are coming out, it is for the healing of the people. It is for the medicine. It is for bringing life because it, it will bring life. They so shall live. Wherever the water gets to the people, they shall live. So it's bringing life. It's a life producing thing. It's a healing producing thing. It's a deliverance producing thing. Are you getting what I'm saying? So that is the power of God. That's the anointing of God that moves and uh, operates in the life and ministry of his people as he sends us forth into the world to go and get this job done. And wherever the river gets to, any nation, any country, any continent, it will keep on healing people like that. So I don't know where you are today, I don't know how far you are, but I want you to know that this stream of healing power of God is flowing, is flowing like a river. And it's flowing to you wherever you are. Maybe you are within the country here, Nigeria, or you are outside the country. You are in another country around us in Africa. The stream of this water of healing that is flowing like a stream, like a river, it will flow and reach you in the name of Jesus. Are you hearing me from this continent, Africa? I pray and prophesy unto you that this healing stream, healing flow, healing river, that is flowing. And the Bible says wherever it flows to, 
it will be for the healing of the people. Wherever it flows to, it will be for meat, for food. Wherever it flows to, it will be for medicine. Wherever it flows to, it's going to be for health. I pray and I prophesy unto you today that whichever continent you are, is it Africa, is it Asia, is it Europe, is it Australia, is it America, North America, South, wherever you are, I pray that the anointing of this healing anointing will reach you. It will flow, it will flow, it will keep on flowing, and it will flow to you wherever you are in the name of Jesus. It doesn't matter which continent you are hearing from or you are watching this from. The healing anointing like a river will flow and touch you there in the name of Jesus. Because it is what God has given to us and it is going to move from coast to coast to coast until there is no coast to cover. It will keep on moving and touching the nations and touching the nations and touching the nations. Is that until it will move into the sea, that's over sea, and across the sea, it will keep on moving from river level, from stream level to river level, from river level to enter into the sea and become ocean. Oceanic anointing, healing anointing like ocean, like streams, like river, like sea, like ocean, getting into different parts of the world. It will reach you wherever you are. I'm going to pray for you today, and I believe the healing anointing will touch you wherever you are. I want you to place your hand wherever there is any sickness or disease on your body. And as I pray here, it's going to touch you wherever you are. Father, in the name of Jesus, everyone that is here us today, is there any sickness in anybody? There is somebody having uh, uh, your head. If there's a way you can divide the head into two, the one on the right side. Okay, the right side, around the temple, at the center of your head, there is something that is like is palpating, moving up and down, the way little children have something moving around the center of their head. But you are an adult, and then you are feeling that and moving up and down, the right side of your head. God is healing you right here, right there, wherever you are right now, in the name of Jesus. Whether you are within this country or outside, I don't know where you are hearing from, but I see that happening. I see the healing hand of God touching you. There's somebody that around you, the loins, Moza de Kotiada, Aroshi Kledev Stari Bayede. Around the loins, that's where, if you are a man, around the uh, where we put belt, within that area upward, not downward. You are feeling some ache around your right side of the bone there. Whatever is it that is bringing that bone structure ailment or weakness inside. I rebuke that in the name of Jesus and I pray the healing virtue of God touch you where you are right now at that region of your loins in the name of Jesus. There's somebody also you are having weakness in your bladder. You, you urinate too frequently. You urinate too frequently. It's like your, your bladder cannot hold much of urine. Uh, in a short time, you just want to urinate. Want to, even if you are in a vehicle and you have to travel long distance, you stop on the road and you have to go and urinate and urinate, something like that. Whatever is causing that, I rebuke that spirit and demon in the name of Jesus. I see the hand of God touching you for healing right now in the name of Jesus. And any organ of your body that's affected is being restored in the name of Jesus. Le brolushi kedirianta, brukadoza gadarate, leko supla liandre kedosh. I can see a couple husband and wife the wife is having issue of fever the husband is having something growing like the liver something is affecting your liver and it's swelling up so it's like you know your stomach is becoming bigger and that as uh, if they look at you from outside but doctors have already told you that there's something wrong with your liver and it's getting bloated and big and so they ask you to form for operation you have not gone your wife is also with you your wife has given back to children but at this present level is having this fibroid and they say to she to also come for a surgery she has not gone so the two of you <laughs> husband and wife so there is healing anointing touching both of you in the name of jesus the husband your liver is healed now in the name of jesus the wife that fibroid will disappear dry die and disappear from the place they will look for it they will not find it again in the name of jesus your organ liver that has been affected that bloating will shrink back your liver will come back to its normal size you won't go through the operation it will not be necessary that operation will not be necessary that operation will not be necessary that operation will not be necessary in the name of jesus because the hand of god is reaching you now in the name of jesus thank you heavenly father okay that's how far we can take my time is up but i believe that somebody somewhere is getting help from above is getting healed is getting delivered Whatever you have wasted money upon for years, 
the Lord, the anointing of the Lord is reaching you now, like stream coming to your to your way in the name of Jesus. Well, until tomorrow, it's a daily affair. We'll be here together. Be healthy, wealthy, and strong. God bless you.